everyone. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Erica Barron, and this is our head technician here at Nova Cat Clinic, Ellen Carroza. And we had a request about talking about stomatitis. So if anybody has any question, feel free to pop in, but we're going to go through and talk to you just real fast about what stomatitis is and what you can do about it. Um, so do you want to take it away about what stomatitis is and I'll do what you could do about it or vice versa? It doesn't matter to me. The easiest thing to realize about stomatitis is, number one, it is very painful. So if your cat is not eating its food, picking one side of its mouth and stuff like that, um, you know, as, as you're noticing things progressing, it's important to have a good oral exam done by your veterinarian because um, stomatitis can actually... Um, come in several different uh, forms, or rather in degrees of severity. Um, little little bits of it could be the whole mouth is inflamed, including the hard palate and the soft palate, the back of the throat, etc. All the way to the point that you have extra gingival tissue growing. The cat can't close its mouth. The cat can be drooling. Um, anything it puts in its mouth, it hurts or it burns because gum tissue tends to have a burning sensation to it when it's painful. Um, and it, even to the point that the teeth, you can't even see the teeth anymore. Sometimes the uh, stomatitis is so bad with the severity of uh, the gingival inflammation. So it's important to get that addressed because it's a, it's a serious disease that needs to be taken care of promptly because if your cat can't eat, your cat's going to get sick. Right, so just to reiterate, stomatitis is inflammation in the mouth. A lot of times what happens is the gums get so inflamed and red, just looking at them they even start burn. They start bleeding. It's really, a, it tends to be kind of a lot of blood, unfortunately, just because gums are such a prolific blood source in themselves. Um, and as Ellen said, they eat the teeth away, they can go over the teeth. It's basically the mouth of imp you know, attacking the teeth because there's bacteria and stuff that they just don't want to be there. Right. Um, and think of it as like a big allergic reaction, a localized mm -hmm. allergic reaction. And unfortunately, a lot of the times these are genetic things, so we can't do a lot to stop it from happening. What we can do is treat it. But some of the ways you can try to stop it are, you know, there's some herbal remedies that some people think work. I don't have a lot of experience with them. Um, so I can't say yes they work or don't or no they don't work. But you can contact someone who has more um, experience doing herbal medicine than I do, and they might be able to tell you more, tell you if something works. Um, a lot of times, unfortunately, we just have to have full mouth extractions on these cats. Right, and that's um, usually the only way to actually not just cure the cat. Because usually stomatitis, you can't 100% cure it. There's always going to be some sort of inflammatory process there, but we can make it better. And you have to remember that you do need to have full dental x-rays done when you have a cat with stomatitis because 90% of the time, most of those roots are completely gone and we're just seeing the crowns of the teeth just still sitting in that gum mm -hmm. tissue. So the doctor has to go in there and actually clean out all of that whatever little bits of roots are left over, etc. And, mm -hmm. and even if they've had a dental in the past and they still are having an inflammatory issue in that area, sometimes we've gotten cats from other clinics that had previous dentals and the roots are still there. The crown is gone, but the roots are there and the cat's reacting to the roots still yeah. in its mouth because if it has stomatitis that way, it's going to have allergic reaction to the root itself. So those need to be removed in order to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. It's important. Um, you know, some people like to use the laser on these cases because it helps reduce inflammation mm -hmm. and pain, and that's what the laser does. So the laser can help some of these cats. Right. Um, you still and, need to address the teeth first. Right. The laser, you, you can keep doing laser all the time, and you're not going to have it clear up because we're not getting rid of what's causing the root of the issue. Mm -hmm. And other things we can, you know, you can try... Um, there are some things you can put in the food and whatnot, but I feel like most of the time when we see stomatitis, they're not eating. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, it's if you have a full mouth extraction and it's a patient with stomatitis, I think you should just put an E-tube in yep. to, to get them over the hump and to get them right. feeling better. Um, and remember, an E-tube is that esophageal feeding tube because we're going to completely bypass everything up here that hurts but still be able to get nutrition to your cat. Because if you think about it, if you have a patient who is already someone who doesn't want to eat and now they're painful, they're really not going to eat. And then we're going to go through all those things we've talked about right. before. Does anybody have any questions for us? 
All right. Well, if we can ever help you, let us know. We're here in Arlington, Virginia. Um, again, if you ever have a request of something you want us to talk about, let us know because we're here to help you and to have coffee. All right. Sorry it was a quick one today. Yeah. We've been really busy, and now we have to go start appointments. So it's been a really long day, and we had a short period of time for a quick cup of coffee. But if anybody needs anything, just let us know, and we hope you have a great week. Bye. Finish. <laughs>